Now you got yourself homemade snorkel. Perfect. Like, I think I can't. This requires a system. This guy's not to be messed with. Not to be messed with. If you're new to my channel, do me a favor. Consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Good morning, welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. My name is Brad Harrell and we're back at the shed. And today, we're gonna be working on the blood wagon. Putting a snorkel on that old girl there. So, I am a master plumber and I thought, what more fitting than a PVC homemade snorkel? I don't really go through deep water Probably the deepest water I've been through is, oh, up to there. You know, I mean, maybe a little bit past the doors, nothing crazy. More doing this for uh, novelty because I like tinkering with stuff and I thought it'd be neat. Never made one. Um, this is a 1995 Suzuki Sidekick JX. Uh, I have taken the fenders off, so that would be one more step or you would have to drill through the fender there what i've got here is this is the air cleaner uh there is a factory black piece that goes right here that i've already taken off and i've replaced it with a piece of pvc and then a 90 right there um got these hose clamps uh from our shop they're probably four inch hose clamps maybe something like that but the, the notches on them go almost all the way around. They stop on the bottom side there. So you can tighten them down a lot. Uh, went ahead and got those put on the boot. Um, I had to take this 10 millimeter bolt off and be able to move it back and forth to get that to work. But I got it lined up. And what we have here is we got our 90 coming out and I've got a uh, clean out fitting here so that way I can clean debris out of it if it, if it has some in there uh, got a sanitary tee turned upside down I've got a small piece of pipe and then I've got a 16 bit in there that's what we call in the plumbing business I think they call them 22 and a half at Home Depot or something like that um, that's gonna go in there like that and then this pipe is gonna go on here like so so that's i got a couple fittings planned for over there but we need to go ahead and get our measurement between our 90 and our sanitary tee to make sure it is all good and well so let's do that now a little chilly this morning too So what I'm gonna do is I'm measuring from hub to hub, and then I'll, I'll, I'm measuring from the end of the hub to the end of the hub, and then I will add the distance the pipe goes in. That was an inch and a quarter. Um, so from, <clears throat> from the 90 in here to here. You always wanna make sure that you use primer when you're gluing stuff if you want it to stick a lot of misconceptions are that you don't have to use primer to make things stick when gluing pvc together and that just ain't true folks pvc starts the chemical bond softens the pipe cleans the pipe Without it, PVC will not, it'll, it'll go together, but it won't stay together. I always want to give it about a quarter turn, get all that glue nice and 
even on there. Count to about 5,000. One, 1,000. <laughs> what I mean by that is don't count to 5,000. Count by thousands to five. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five. Just want to make sure that's clear. bolted up there. I'm gonna run a bolt through this bell reducer into here to this piece of metal. That is a bracket that I made for that light bar. It's a piece of angle iron. I'm gonna make sure that our door opens up. Let's see. Hold that there. Door opens. Oh yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. <clears throat> Got those kind of lined up. Need to make sure what that is right there. Measurement. Okay. Measurement here. See on this one we can measure from end of bell to end of bell. So we got turn my headlamp on. There we go. Let there be light. All right, two and a quarter. I read that right? Yeah, two and a quarter. Got my heater on. Got to turn it on every once in a while and warm up. It's a little nippy. A little nippy for this South Texas boy. going to glue this female adapter also known as a clean out fitting glue it into the bottom of this sanitary tee so that way I can clean it clean this snorkel out if need be probably put some pipe dope on the threads on that plug to be able to so it's watertight and I don't have to worry about it uh, sucking in air or water through there <clears throat> all right i've got my hole drilled and my angle iron there fixing to go ahead and put a little hole in the bell reducer that way i can get this thing bolted up
stainless steel screen on it with like some type of little baffle in it uh, it is on a 45 a regular 45 and I'm gonna glue that up to a street sweep and a street 45 there put a little piece in between here I'm gonna have to get hit the grinder on that piece Let me see what this is. inch and a half a little over inch and a half all right, so got my <laughs> my screen 45 with the 90 and that went ahead and put the notch in there. That's for the bolt head inside of the reducer. Let's see how it fits here. Look at that. Now you got yourself homemade snorkel. Yeah, baby. Looking good. I'll put all the pieces of pipe in the description below. You can go purchase them on Amazon. I hope you enjoyed this video of me making this snorkel for the old Suzuki blood wagon. Gonna be going on my West Texas trip pretty soon. It's coming up in a couple of days and I'm super excited about it. So um, anyway. Stay tuned to that. If you haven't subscribed already, do me a favor. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. And also, hit the thumbs up button so YouTube knows that this is a decent video. And I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hell, Bellis. number two? Yes. No. Lettuce, tomato, pickles, and onions? I want everybody on it. Everybody. Now, try to run, you dang Land Rover. How many vices do you have? Half a dozen, probably. <laughs> Oh, Way to go, Fred. fourth beer Patrick. ain't sitting too good. <laughs> wow! <laughs> chicken, my chicken got loose. Hey, have you seen my chicken? Ten percent really got me going. Is that it? DNR. Yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so nasty. What does that mean? Salt, pepper, garlic. Nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative and it gets the people going. Ow! Oh, pretty bird. Pretty bird. I'm gonna eat you with jalapeno in the middle and wrapped with bacon. Oh, pretty bird.